Hello everyone, Hector Mendoza. I want to show you how to move a loss screen window back into your desktop. So um, there's times when, and especially if you're using a lot of monitors. Uh, right now, I only have one monitor. It, it's easier to, to show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a few file explorer uh, folders, right? And the reason I'm going to do that because um, some of the features I'm going to show you work with uh, actual programs and or software, and some of them will only work with folders. And I'm going to show you. So you see this folder right here? I'm pushing it out. So you see it's, it's trying to load, but it doesn't. And you can tell something is loaded because there's a right underneath there. There is a um, a line underneath there. Okay, so I'm going to create another folder, and I'm going to um, <clears throat> open it up. And this time I'm going to put this one over to the left and just completely lose it. So you see, no matter which folder I try, I can't get, right? So I'm gonna open up Excel. Uh, I'm not gonna name it or nothing. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push this to the left, and now I can't select it, okay? And I'll do a Word document, and that'll be it. <clears throat> So I'm going to show you a bunch of, well, but it's only five, five different ways to handle something like this. And this happens. This happened to me a bunch of times. That's why I know how to do some of this stuff. I don't know how many times before I knew how to do this, that it happened to me. And I would have to restart the computer. Uh, you don't have to do that. So, uh, <clears throat> so the easiest way uh let's say when you have a folder if you have a folder and you want to get it back you see how you can't you can't select it right and you can go in here and select it so the easiest way to to recover or or put those in your uh desktop if you right click here on the desktop make sure you're not on top of any one of those icons right you you want to be in uh in a blank space so if you right click, there's this thing called Cascade Windows. If you click on Cascade Windows, you see those folders that were hidden. See, now you can go to them, okay, because it cascaded, but it didn't do nothing to my um, Excel and my Word document. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, hide them again or take them off the screen. I'm going to show you some other ways to do this. Okay, so if you uh, if you right click on 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 the folder, okay, and you go to um, here, let, let's do it a different way. So if you hold your shift key and you right click, you see you can cascade all the windows, right? Or you can go in and um, you can stack the windows. But here, let, let, let me do it a different way. So if I click here and I select this one um, one folder, right? If I hold my window key and I just move click on my up arrow, watch what happens. It brought it in. Okay, so um, now another thing that I can do. <clears throat> okay, so see, I still got two, window, two, two windows that I can see, right? If I click away from all of those files, right? So in a blank space in the toolbar, if I right click and I go to my task manager, 
Now, these are use, this is only going to work for windows or, uh, you know, uh, folders. So if I click on the first one and I right click and I switch to, watch what happens. So I hit switch to, right? Now I want to hit my... Um, Uh, Windows and my left key, and you see what it did? It brought it down here because <clears throat> I selected it that way. Now, if I um, so another way to go and get this claim, uh, this files is to Let's say I want to retrieve my uh, Excel file. See, I can't select it, right? If I hold my shift key, I right click and hit restore. It didn't do it, excuse me. Uh, so, so hold my shift key, right click and click on move. Now, right now, you can't see nothing. You see, you'll see this icon on your uh, screen, right? All you, right now, you can't touch it. But if you left click or right click, depends on where the file is, it'll show up. And then once you can see it, you can move it around. You know, I'm not clicking on anything. All I'm doing is moving it around. So that's uh, one way to retrieve your your. Um, folders right so i'm gonna hide it again <clears throat> see uh, i'm trying to figure out some other ways that i can show you here i'll tell you what let me make sure that i don't skip none of them so remember we went and we clicked on the uh on the windows and the up arrows so we clicked so what we did was we clicked away from the icons and then we moved it this way, right? Second way is to move on top of the program. Remember, I held my shift key, I right clicked, and I clicked on move. And with my arrows keys, I was able to move them left and right. Then um, we also right clicked on a like right on an empty space, and then we went to the tool uh, to test manager. And we were able to move files over that way. Okay. And then the last way is to go to the test manager. And so let's go to uh, again. This time <clears throat> I can go to the test manager. I can go in and um, go to test manager. Watch what I'm going to do this time. On my Excel file, I'm going to right click. This time I'm going to tell it bring to the front. Remember earlier I was telling you if you know if you hit switch to, it's only going to affect your 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 file folders. Well, if I click bring to the front, you see right now I don't have Excel file, right? If I click here, do what it does. Oh, not bring to the front. Uh, let me see. You can minimize or maximize. Uh, I, I like using the maximize. There you go. See, same thing. I don't have my, I can't select my, uh, now, now you, you, now you can do whatever you want with that folder. Okay. Now I have my Word document. Same thing. If I, right click away from an icon go to my test manager then go to my word document click on my word document right click and maximize it it's going to bring it to the front and then at that point you can do whatever you want with it okay you can close it or do whatever you want so those are five different ways that you can um, um, get a lost screen back into your desktop.
hey guys thanks for watching my video oh by the way do you see this pdf that i have here um at the bottom of my screen you should see a link and you can download this so you can put it on your uh computer so you don't have to look at this uh video every time if you like my video please uh give me a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber subscribe to me i have a bunch of different kind of uh tricks that I uh, like to show. Again, thank you for watching my video.